Hey everyone, uh, today I am actually going to be showing you Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds. So, if you all enjoy, please hit the like button and leave a comment down below. <clears throat> and if the people I share it with, uh, if they like it, I'll, I'll open it to public. Okay, so let's get it going. Oh, by the way. Please, uh, please subscribe. That'd be nice. So, let's go. <clears throat> I won't be talking through this rather than that video. I'm not coming from the room. I'm going to have to restart. So, yeah. Duelists, young and old, professional and amateur alike. It's the moment you've been waiting for. So, make some noise for the number one ranked turbo duelist in the world, Jack Atlas. As he looks to add to his un streak today, one begs the question, can anyone take this man down? What say we kick this turbo duel into overdrive? Oh, and, uh, <clears throat> by the way, if, uh, I'm gonna pause it right here for a minute. Uh, if you want me to put this in, um, uh, with closed captions, uh, just leave a comment down below, and I will turn on closed captions, uh, in, in the next video. Uh, and I will, uh, I will also redo it in closed captions if you want me to. Uh, for the, um... For the intro. So, yeah, let's get back into it. Additionally, a rider's strength is now governed by the duelist's speed counter. The more speed a duelist has, the stronger the move they can make. Turbo duelists, countdown initiated. Ready, set, duel. Here, oh my. Turbo duel! Turbo duel! Turbo duel! And Hunter has played a powerful trap. Can Jack Atlas recover? You've had your fun, but it's time for my victory lap. Now, I'm sure you remember my red dragon archfiend from our last match, Hunter. And since you worked so hard to get back here, you can have the honor of falling to my most powerful beast again. Archfiend, send him back to the junkyard with scorching crimson flare.
Jack Atlas's unbeaten streak continues. Who's the one master of faster? Who rules the duels? That's right, it's me. amazing as always. Nerve and zip it, would you? What? What'd I say, Blitz? You don't want to hear about how amazing Jack Atlas was. Oh, sorry. Only one person should be sorry. Right. Jack still owes you for what he did. Got that right. So where you been, Use? The tunnels. Testing a new acceleration chip. So are you gonna tell us if the new chip worked out or what? Duh, Tank. Does it look like it worked? I guess not. Although, hey... Your other runner looked great on TV. Tank! Just trying to make our friend feel better is all. That is, you say, stool runner. I mean, if it weren't for Jack double-crossing Use and stealing his ride, Use would have been given that interview. Because Jack got all famous with Use as runner, all the fame, fortune, and glory of Jack's now. Tank! What? <laughs> you say! Hey, you say! Are you down here? In here, Rally. What's up, little buddy? Wait till you see what I got for you, Say. <sighs> Why do I have a bad feeling about this? Because you always have bad feelings. Check it out. The Skyline 30 acceleration chip. That's a Skyline? Aren't those incredibly expensive? Huh? It looks like it's never been used. Don't tell me you stole this. I didn't steal nothing. It was just laying on the ground in broad daylight. Uh, Maybe man. someone dropped it. Rally, you shouldn't have taken what don't belong to you. You know how things are here. Nobody leaves nothing just lying around. If they saw you, they'll track us down and mark us all. Easy, Nervin. Raleigh, let me see that. This is just what I needed. You can't use that use. You gotta make Raleigh take it back. I knew you'd like it. I knew it. Will it make you faster? Absolutely. Well, then maybe he shouldn't return it. Tank! What? We know how you feel, Use, but I think it's time to bury the past, move on, and forget about Jack Atlas. But Jack also took Yusei's best card, remember, Nervin? And you remember, Jack's in the city, and the people over there don't take too kindly to those of us from the satellite. Yeah, and in case you forgot, sometimes you gotta stand up for yourself. Yusei, a satellite should just stay put. Jack didn't stay, so why should I? Let him go, bro. Don't risk your freedom for some wheels in a car. I think Nerve's right. It's time to put the past in the past. Huh? Guys, a couple of minutes. Where do you think you're going? You take the East Tunnel. 
I'm gonna take this chip out for a test drive. Central, the price is in my sights. Lock on to my signal. Man, I didn't think they'd be on me this quick. You on the runner. Pull over. There's no use trying to escape. since the center. I'll thank Jack for setting up this reunion. <laughs> Jack said with the right bait, Rally would lead us right to you. I knew we should have locked you up when you were a kid. Looks like I'll finally get my wish. And with you and Rally off to the facility, Jack will have one less thing to worry about. Now tell me, are you going to make this easy and come along quietly? I will. If you can beat me. <laughs> I see you still think you can outduel sector security. It's too bad the rules say you satellites can't carry cards. Rules were made to be broken, weren't they? Now if I win this duel, Rally and me are free to go. No questions asked, Trudge. The law does not negotiate with- And what's in it for me should I accept your proposal? But Article 4B clearly states Well, that... allow me to clearly state this. Get moving or else. This is highly improper. I said move. Or would you prefer to be working on trash detail? Back to Command Central, everyone. Direct orders. Well, should you accept and win, you'll tell Sector Security to call off their hunt for rally. And how does that benefit me? Because I'm going to say it was me who stole the chip, and that I tried to flee the scene but couldn't outrun your pursuit. A statement like that will probably bump you up to sergeant. So what do you say, officer? You've got yourself a deal, fool. Here we go. I'll engage the speed world field spell. Dual mode engaged. Autopilots activated. Let's ride! I can't wait to finally put you away. And my assault dog's gonna help make sure of it. With it on the field, I place a card face down and end my turn. It's my move then, and with the power of my speed counter, I can summon... Speed Warrior! You never were good at math, now were you? I mean, that monster's attack points are less than mine. Why bother summoning him out? Hey, why does attack points double like that? I heard you were at the bottom of your class at the academy, and I can see why now. Huh. Still a wise guy, I see. I expected nothing less. Well, did you expect my speed warrior to take out your blast dog? Go, hypersonic slash! You always were a know-it-all. Well, I'm about to teach you a brand new lesson, you say. See, when a salt dog is sent to the graveyard because of an attack, I can summon another one from my deck to take its place. Still using the same old deck, I see. I play a face down and end my turn. And now that your Speed Warrior's attack points are halved, I remove my assault dog from play to bring out Handcuff's Dragon. Here's a quick math lesson. With 1,800 attack points, your Speed Warrior is about to get subtracted from the playing field. Not if I play my face down, Scrap Iron Scarecrow! With this, I can absorb your dragon's attack and save my speed warrior! 
You mean that would have happened if not for the wiretap trap card? Come on, use focus. You can't let this guy push you around. Handcuffs Dragon, take out his monster. Your deck's made up of cards others threw away, and no matter how you patch it up, trash is still trash. It's my turn. I summon Sonic Chick in defense mode. Next, I place two cards face down and end my turn. <laughs> Just like a satellite to hide behind junk. Well, I'll flush you out. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> now, by sending those three cards to my graveyard, I can special summon Montage Dragon to the field. Beast like that in play, it's only a matter of time before this duel is over and I get to turn you in. Montage Dragon's attack points are equal to the total level of the monster sent to the graveyard, multiplied by 300. Quite the beast. Wait till you see it in action. But first, my handcuffed dragon has taken out your sonic chick. him out of the picture, I'm just one attack from putting you away for good. Go, Power Collage! You may have knocked me down, but it'll take more than that to knock me out. There's not a card in your deck that can save you now. He's right, but I've never relied on just one card before, and I don't plan on starting now. Summon out the Junk Synchron Tuner Monster! Junk Synchron is a level 3 Tuner Monster. Tuner Monsters combine with other monsters to form more powerful Synchro Monsters. You have a Tuner Monster? That can't be. And yet somehow it is. Next up, I activate the Graceful Revival Trap Card. And it allows me to do what us satellites do best. Recycle my speed warrior from my graveyard. Now I tune my junk synchron with my speed warrior to synchro summon junk warrior. still not strong enough to stop my montage dragon. Looks like after all that, you still underestimated the power of my beast. And you underestimated the power of my deck. Go, Vision Wind! My Vision Wind? You won that from me on your last day at the re-education center. What are you gonna do with it? Win this duel. As I'm sure you remember, with it I can special summon one level two or below monster from my graveyard. And I summoned my speed warrior! With it on the field, Junk Warrior special ability activates, making Junk Warrior 900 points stronger. How could I let a punk kid from the satellite sector get the upper hand? With that power... My Junk Warrior's gonna make sure me and Rally stay free! I bet you thought that by attacking you'd only be hurting me, when in fact you really just hurt yourself. But that's nothing new, is it, you say? As I recall, you were always one to act first and think second. Reminds me of the time you tried to break curfew with Rally. You never thought you'd be caught, but one never does until they are. I can still remember the scared look on Rally's face. And I can't wait to see it again once your friend is rounded up. Well, keep waiting, because I'm not losing. Not what? I activate the trap card, 
A quip shot. This releases my warrior from your dragon's grip and lets me use its ability against you. You can't use my monster against me! Growing up on the streets, I learned to become very resourceful, using everything to my advantage. And that includes using my opponent's own move against themselves. Jump, warrior, end this! I'm going back to being a dual runner meter maid. You mentioned earlier how you wanted to teach me a lesson. Well, how about I leave you with this? Don't underestimate our satellites or our decks, because what you see as weakness is what truly makes us strong. Tell Jack thanks for the chip. <sighs> Things ain't over between you. Ready, Domino City. I'm coming.